Boy, you're a chubby little fella, ain't ya? <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. It's the Art the Clown backpack after he ate a whole ton of Oreos, apparently. Spirits open. Let's go. <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, we are continuing Spirit Halloween Tour 2024, and today we are in Summersworth, New Hampshire, at this Spirit Halloween, which used to be a Michael's Craft Store. That is a pretty cool-looking store. I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite things about traveling all over, looking at different Spirit Halloween stores, because the outside of every single one looks completely different. If I didn't know this was a Michael's, I would guess that it was some sort of buffet or something, like a hometown buffet. That's just the mindset this type of building puts me in. It feels like you're gonna go in here and have a nice, warm, home-cooked dinner. All right, yes, let's go into this awesome buffet and get some rolls and chicken and some homemade noodles with maybe some stuffing and wait, what? Thank you, automatic doors. Oh my gosh, this is an absolutely enormous store, guys. Look at this place. I love how there's so many sounds and things going on and everything is so loud. It's so chaotic in here and I love that. And look at this. They have Ghostface and the Ringmaster swapped today. Ghostface is usually over here and the Ringmaster is usually over here. Not only that, but look, you can actually see what's going on on his chest in here. Hold on, let's do that again. All right, here we go. Here we go. And I mean, you can see it, but it won't focus. Well, you can see a skull there. Crap, I thought we were gonna be able to get a really good look because he's in just the perfect position where it's darker than it usually is. Okay, let's go ahead and check out Ghostface here. We got the bloody mask and we got the knife. Here we go. Have any of you guys bought this Ghostface animatronic? He is actually pretty cool. When I first saw him, I wasn't sure what to think, but I actually like him a lot now. All right, let's go ahead through the carnival here. Let's see who else. Look at this. We got a Gordo set up over here. It looks like these two are actually in suspended animation, though. Like, they are the ones that saw something scary. Wait a minute. This is the second time I've seen a Tallulah who's missing an arm. Is she missing an arm or is it just... Yeah, apparently she's missing an arm. What the heck? One-armed Tallulah. All right, let's go ahead and spin the Wheel of Fate. It looks like Gordo already spun it over here and died. <laughs> All right, what will it be? Where will it land? Yes, finally, I get to live. Oh my gosh, guys, they have got a ton of animatronics for sale on the floor. We're gonna get around to those in just a minute here, but let's check out Mac Straw. All right, Mackie. Mackie's one of my favorites. Have any of you bought Mackie? <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite things about him is the sound of crows in the background. I love that. All right, let's get the giant death ray going. Come on, Mr. Death Ray. Ooh, he's pretty loud in here. Holy crap, look who we have set up over here. It's the straw man. It's usually Art the Clown in this area right here beside the cremator. But today it is the straw man waiting to break dance for us. All right, straw man, go for it. Uh-oh, here we go. Closer. You wouldn't want to lose 
Either his one arm is broken or he's really doing the robot very goodly. And I love how loud they have the down the duck game. That is totally awesome. The more chaotic in these stores, the better. Let's get the cremator going here. Not that we're gonna be able to hear him, but at least you can see him firing. All right, let's bounce on over here to the sitting scarecrow and see. I don't see a step pad, so maybe he's gonna jump with a sensor. Yep. <laughs> All right, perfect. That's the perfect place to leave a handful of awesome stickers for you adoring fans. There you go. Free, come get them. Boy, you're a chubby little fella, ain't ya? <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. It's the Art the Clown backpack. I know I just got sidetracked, but I saw him over here after he ate a whole ton of Oreos, apparently, and I couldn't resist. And there's three of those, and look at this, guys. They actually have two of the crossbody bags. So they are starting to get these in more stores now. We got the fortune teller booth over here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the ball is working, so we're not gonna be able to get our fortune told today. However, I will tell your fortune and leave a couple of stickers here for you. All right. Right, let's keep on moving here. Let's go through the fun house of terror. I did not have Oreos this morning. However, this mirror makes it look like I did. I know that is pretty funny. I think the first few fun houses I went through, you couldn't smell the, uh, the cotton candy at all, but probably like 90% of them you can now. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Nibbles here. Come on now, Nibbles. Well, well. Oh my gosh, he is so loud. My eye. Don't worry, I'm just admiring your costume. <laughs> hey, He's a good little follower. <laughs> I'm giving out some candy. I thought this would be a great way to make some friends. Dang, he is working really good. What do you say? I'm harmless. Mostly. Uh, that is the best working nibbles I have seen in any store out of everyone I've been to, guys. He followed me perfectly the entire time. But he still had that weird thing at the end where to end what he was doing, he just went eh. All right, let's come on over and say hello to Wanda Webworth. I know, right? Let's say hello to Cotton Candy Dan with his one eye. Get your Cotton Candy here! We've added some new ingredients. <laughs> oh, hello, rat. I love how they have the hello rat set up all around here. There's even one down here by Barnaby. Hello, rat. Enjoying your popcorn? All right, let's get Barnaby going here. He is not very loud in this store. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get Emily and Victor going. I know there's a lot of people who have been having trouble finding Victor. I will light your way in darkness. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. I do. You make the bride. All right, let's go ahead and get Bobby Strings going here. Come on, Bobby. Hey, everyone. Want to hear a song? Let me sing it for you. Uh oh. Oh, I know a naughty child who was so very bad. He ate up all my candy and made me real mad. So when I get free, I'm gonna fix him good. He's gonna bump heads with this block of wood. <laughs> let that be a lesson, kids. So don't be a blockhead. 
Don't be a blockhead. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and walk around here for a minute, see what animatronics we can find that are for sale on the floor because they have a ton. This is a huge store, guys. And let's start with this pile right back here. We've got a straw man on the top. Very cool. We got a string master. A string. Why in the heck did I call him a string master? I was still thinking about the straw man. We got a ring master down here, a demonic gatekeeper. We got a Mr. Punchy. We got two pop-up pins here we've got two grave watchers here oh we got a monty on the bottom hold on let's find the front of the box we got a monty on the bottom we have two dark princesses here hmm kind of strange that they have two dark princesses but they don't have one set up we got another pop of pins over here and we got the groundbreaking nightmare before christmas worm on the bottom we've got a whole plethora of jumping spiders over here i see we got the black jumping spider the black and red down here we have the gray and the brown, so you have your choice of jumping spiders if you come in here. We've got more animatronics over here. Look at this. We have two of the ghost faces with the light-up face and knife, and he makes sound. We have the black heart up here. We have a demonic gatekeeper on the bottom. We have another string master on the bottom. We have a Barnaby bear down here and a Toothy the Clown over here. Every time I see him, I like him a little bit more. Look at this. He's got a clearance sticker, $199.98. Swings back and forth, moves his mouth as he speaks evil phrases, and he sits four foot, three and a half inches tall with five feet of hanging rope. All right, let's make our way up here, guys. Man, they have got tons of stuff in here. Here's even more animatronics over here, and look who we have, guys. We've got the heck spawn yes we got another pop of pins here we got a bobby strings on the end we've got a cerberus three-headed dog up here we've got a slim down here we've got another dark princess over here a gravestone ghoul a barnaby on the bottom and a cauldron this over here too they have got an awesome selection of animatronics available in this store man they are absolutely stocked with all the costumes you could ever need let's take a walk back Back through here and check out the section that has the secret keeping cats I can never go without saying hello to the secret keeping cats that doesn't mean I'm leaving yet it just means I have to say hello to this guy the killer critters I love every single one of these we've got Steven seagull the zombie seagull up here we've got our favorite carrot we've got the zombie squirrel here the creeping cat we've got more hello rats down here I see we have one two three four Four scabs on the bottom. We've got even more back here. Holy crap, look at this, guys. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more creeping cats, three more secret keeping cats, and a whole, what do you even call, not a flock, a murder of crows. There is a whole murder of crows right here. I hope they don't murder us. Okay, I see buckets that need stickers. There's a couple, there's a couple, there's a couple, there's a couple. Look at this, they've got four hookhead hogs here. We've got one double face here, and then we have two of these disgusting disgusting spider webs. They're like a spider cocoon. They've got Matchstick Mary here. Let's see if we can hear her. No, she's too quiet to hear. We've got Pestilence Pete here. I think we need a Nate Guy Creepy Dolls. A Nate Guy Creepy Dolls. A Nate, a Nate Guy Creepy Doll. A Nate Guy creepy action figure. There you go. Whoa, look at all the zombie babies. Oh my gosh, they have got so many. We've got baby peekaboo clown up here. Let's see if we can get him going. <laughs> We've got the butt baby. We got the hand eater. We got the cockroach eater. We got the spider biter. We have this crazy evil little guy. We've got the pumpkin eater here. <laughs> We've got this crawling guy. Wait a minute. Maybe he's a smelling guy. That looks very strange. We've got the rat eater. We have the plotter here plotting our murder. This guy must be friends with the crows. And look at this. We have two brain eaters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And look on the end here, we have some tiny terrors. We have three of the ghost face babies. That's cool. We got two Michael Myers. We have a Pennywise down here and another hand eater. I'm still a little confused about the tomb of lost souls. What is supposed to go in there? Somebody who works at a spirit, tell me what is supposed to go in there or what was supposed to go in there. It looks like it was made to have like an animatronic standing there or something. And if it wasn't, I'm very surprised that I haven't come in any stores where they actually had an animatronic standing there. These guys remind me of Close Encounters of the Third Kind though. All right, let's come over and see if there are any masks that I haven't seen. Wait a minute, what the heck? I haven't seen these before. It's a completely blinged out scythe for when you want to murder someone in the corn, but you want to do it with diamonds. This pig mask right here, I believe, is the exact pig mask that was used in the movie Hubie Halloween. Yeah, that looks exactly like it. The one that Rob Schneider was wearing. Oh? I don't see anything that I haven't seen before, but this is a pretty creepy nightmare bunny half mask. Oh my gosh, as if this store wasn't stocked enough, look at this, they've got an entire cart full of boxes. They're getting ready to put more stuff out. We've got these hanging fellows. We've got these hanging fellows. You gotta love Barbara and Adam. Oh my gosh, almost every store I've been into this season has been stocked with good guys Chuckies and Glens and Annabelles and Sitting Sam dolls. And look at this. They even have the popcorn gun from Killer Clowns from Outer Space and the Mars Attacks atomic ray gun. All right, let's leave a handful of stickers right in here in the Beetlejuice hand grabber bucket. Now, before I go any further, let me just say this, guys. If you come in looking for stickers, please only take one because I leave anywhere from 50 to 100 stickers in these stores and they go fast. I want as many people to get them as can. So share them. These fellows look like they want to share some stickers. Let's give one to the Gremlin, to the Ghost Face, to the, uh, who is that, Slim, to the Chucky, to the Sam, to the other Ghost Face, to the Michael, to the other Michael, and to to the leather face. Let's leave some for unsuspecting ghost face buyers here. Let's leave one in the chocolate frog. Let's leave some in the mug, the mug, the mug, the mug, the mug. Oh look, this haunted mansion stuff is buy one, get one 50% off. Look at this, they got a towel, they got a table runner, wall decor panels, whoa, I'm dropping things. Wall decor here and here, you got a whole bunch of stuff down here, including this headstone, here lies good old Fred, a great big rock fell on his head. And this one here, that looks pretty cool. Whoa, what happened to that nose? Near Dear Sweet Leota, beloved by all in regions beyond now, and I can't read the rest. Please be careful when getting stickers from the baby head, the baby head, the baby head. We haven't looked at these backpacks yet this season. I love this. We've got SpongeBob with Patrick and Krabs on there. We've got Jason from Friday the 13th. We got Scooby Dooby Doo back there. We've got the killer clowns from outer space. We got this purple Pokemon guy. We got Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, check this out. We got the Ghostbusters. And look at this, they are absolutely stocked in the slippers and all of the plush blankets you could ever want. All right, here's some stickers for the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. Excuse me, sir, were you just watching me do that? I bet you saw that with your, you know, you just said it. All right, let's leave these guys a couple of stickers here. One for you, one for you, one for you. Look at this, we got the Scooby-Doo Monopoly, the Spirit Halloween Monopoly. This one was really difficult to find last year. And the Wednesday Ouija board. No, thank you. Oh, check this out. Have I seen the Victor and Emily Corpse Bride Pops? That is pretty cool. All right, let's just take one journey over here quick. Wait a minute, let's back up. Let's put a couple of stickers right here with Gordo. There you go, sir. And yes, just as expected, wow, they are absolutely stocked with costumes on this side as well, guys. Look at this. Everything you could possibly want to be for Hallow's Eve. I don't know if I've seen this hat before. You like scary movies? <laughs> and look at the ghost face earrings. They're little daggers. And one more thing here. Let's take a look at this Michael Myers hoodie. The night he came home. That is awesome. Hold on, let me move the head. The head, the hood. John Carpenter's Halloween. That is very, very cool. All right, guys, there you go. Very awesome store. Summer's worth 
New Hampshire, get down here and get all your awesome Halloween -y needs, including free Nate Guy stickers. Go on a treasure hunt. Yeah.